Officials say they've seen blue-green algae at Redbud Isle, and it may be toxic, so they're reminding everyone to be careful. Sit. Sit. Emma Cobb and her dog are enjoying the trail away from the water. Luckily, she doesn't really get into the water too much. She's kind of afraid of the water, so it doesn't really cause her, but I am definitely worried about it. It being blue-green algae found at Redbud Isle on Lady Bird Lake and Jessica Hollis Park on Lake Austin. Experts say there's algae year-round, but the highest risk is in the summer. Just kind of a lot of the growth that's out there, um, you know, really didn't get knocked back in a way that you would hope for or might expect in normal uh, years or, or in you know, different winter conditions. The toxin found in blue-green algae is the same toxin that killed at least three dogs back in 2019. I used to take her to a different place closer to me by like near Riverside and she would get in the water there because it was really shallow and then I found out about the blue algae and I like freaked out and like never took her there again because I was like worried that she's going to get it. Just by looking at algae, there's no way to know uh, if there's toxins present um, in the absence of testing. Austin Watershed says you and your pets should stay out of the water if there's algae and rinse off right away if you touch it. Others at Redbud Isle say they would love to see a treatment for it. We or, didn't bring okay. our pets because of the algae. And are also spending time away from the water. We're not getting in the water because of the algae. It's going to be really hard, but I think it's probably better for these guys, especially because all the time there's hands in the water and hands in our mouth. And the city is continuing to monitor the algae. In West Austin, Angela Shen, Fox 7 Austin News.